Okay, gonna play with my Remington 597FL. Picked this up a few years ago. I think I traded a pistol for it. I have a uh, Tasco. A Tasco 3 to 9. Yeah, by I think 40. Uh, scope on it. It was, uh, it's been a pretty good scope for me. This thing has always been damn accurate. Even the sights, which are the, um, I keep trying to say glade, day glow, but um, fiber optic. Uh, those are really fun to use. And I have, I have see-through, you can look through the gap in the bottom there and you can actually still use your iron sights, which, uh, yeah, they're a little out of adjustment. I think I have this thing, I think I have the rear sight set down low enough so it'll clear that. Uh, I had taken this off before, but that's okay. Anyway, it came with, I think, two factory 10-rounders and four, four Pro Mag 30-round or 25-round or whatever they were uh, that were absolute crap. I had one I had to actually dig out to... Uh, get it out. It was jammed in so hard I thought I was going to have to carve it out with a knife. But I'm going to run some HV Max through this first just to see what did I say I was going to do? No, I'm not going to run the Federal. I said I was going to run a Gila and CCI round nose and hollow point. So put these bullets back in the box. Put that box back in the can. Choo, 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 choo. Sorry about that. All right. Let me get loaded up. I'll be back in a bit. But here we go. To be honest, I don't even remember the last time I cleaned this thing. <laughs> but we're going to run the 40 grain round nose CCI mini mags for the first five shots. That'll be on the top right. And we'll just see what we see. Parallax is a little different with this one. Guess it helped why uh, take the safety off. Okay, here we go. This time, there we go. This time, I really mean it. Yeah, it's a semi auto, I don't have to do that. Where the heck did that round go? Oh, here we go.
This is another good squirrel gun candidate. Okay, she locked back. I'll go have a look in the scope. That was not a bad group at all. I'm going to run the uh, hollow point 36 grain next. I could probably cover that group with a, with a quarter, it looks like. And uh, it stayed stayed close. There wasn't a lot of, there weren't any flyers. So we're going to uh, try our 36 grain and see how that goes. Again, I haven't had this gun out in a long time. So this is this is an experiment. Okay, I gotta get further away from the scope here. Okay, this is going to be right center. Did you pick up? Yeah, okay. We're chambered. I'm really lighting that target up. Man, after that two and a half pound trigger, this thing's a beast. That looks like a good shot right there. See if I can get four more right next to it. It's not looking too bad. Hey, this gun's a good candidate for a trigger job now. And we're locked back. I think that's a pretty darn good group right there. Be right back. That was a dime size five shot group. And that was the CCI Mini Mag Hollow Point 36 grain. Let's throw some Thunderbolts out there and uh, see how that performs, which I'm confident that it will. This has always been. A very accurate rifle for me. I just, I don't know why, I just haven't had it out for so long. Been trying to get my Glenfield 60s going, and uh, I just let that sit in the back of the closet in the gun bag. Okay, Thunderbolt. Let's let her go. Man, my eyes are getting buggy here from staring through the scope. I'm going to be ready for a break after this.
Well, I think it likes the thunderbolts, but I forgot I was going to shoot a gila. <laughs> so uh, I need to go down and put another dot up. And we'll load this mag. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, yeah, that was another pretty decent group with the uh, thunderbolts, but the uh, the mini mag hollow points are taking the price so far. That's about a dime size group from 25 yards. Okay, let's run the Aguila Super Extra in the next dot. Should be able to read the writing there. That's better. Alright. Yeah, that looked pretty good through the scope. I'm going to go have a look on the big scope. There's uh, four good contenders for squirrel ammo. Here I am. We have the uh, CCI Mini Mag 36 grain hollow point, which is still the better of the four. Uh, the Remington Thunderbolts, which, what's the numbers on those? Doesn't say. I'll have to look that up. Uh, we got the Aguila Super Extra and the Mini Mag uh, Round Nose 40 grain. Here I am. Um, again, the uh, Hollow Point Mini Mags seem to be the best performers with this gun. And it seems to be one of the better. I think the Round Nose 40 grain work uh, pretty good with the, um, well, with the box bag. And with the Glenfield 20. Anyway, watch Mama launch a few Freedom Seeds downrange with her Mossberg 340 KA. That is one sweet rifle. This this one could use a trigger job after I just changed out the trigger on that uh, Glenfield. Mama's having fun. This is what a happy woman looks like on the gun range. She's shooting the target on the left. Now you can't really see it. But she's enjoying herself. I bought that, uh, bought that gun rest just for her. And she's having a good time. <laughs> Okay.